Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. Um, I just got home from class and I saw that Amberlynn uploaded a highly requested weigh-in. So I figured I'd go ahead and just pop up the green screen and do a quick react for you guys. My hopes aren't very high for this. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a giant letdown and there's probably gonna be zero progress made. I really don't see the point in her doing these anymore other than obviously for views <laughs> i mean that's i i mean why else does she do why does she do 90 per, 99 percent of what she does on this channel it's mostly just for views so um i don't know let's go ahead and get into it and let's see what happens oh god here we go <laughs> this intro is so like I can't with the intro is just hey so weird. So welcome to my video before anything goes down. Okay. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know not having the greatest day. I woke up with a sore throat. I mean, she's been having a shit past. I, has she ever had like a great day? I mean, the only time I've ever really seen her excited, um, exuberant, jolly even um was when she was in lexington eating <laughs> i mean i think that's the last time i can recall her being happy i don't know if that's the right word for that um every single video is just her being bummed the fuck out and my response to that would be see a fucking therapist like really go and see someone and do some work like really figure it out because obviously whatever you're doing now isn't working throat I feel a little bit dizzy I think I'm dizzy. catching a cold which is weird because it's summertime I don't know I don't hear about many people viruses don't know what seasons are I mean there's flu season but you can get the flu whenever it's whenever you're coming in contact with the virus but um how the fuck is she getting a cold when she doesn't go anywhere like that's what I'm like you don't really go anywhere like was Becky sick recently I don't think Eric and Ricky have been sick recently um, how are you getting sick? You don't go, you're, you're not in contact with the general public. So that's a little confusing. And honest to me, honestly, to me, it's a little concerning. Like, why are you getting sick when you don't really go anywhere? People like being sick in the summer. I know I have allergies, but this feels a little bit different. <laughs> and yeah, so I love how kind of in focus the camera I'm is right now. That. But okay, there we go. I just wanted to say hello. Welcome to my video. Okay, guys. So before I okay. get into like the main point of this video, I just want to let you guys know there will be a comment of the day at the end because <laughs> thank God. I heard you guys what, we, what, what would we have you done if that really didn't happen? Comment of the day. The only time I'm not gonna do those is when it's more so like strictly the video is a sit down video. Mm -hmm. Normally, I probably wouldn't do it with like a weight loss update unless it was a vlog. To me, I consider sit down videos and vlogs to be a little bit different it's weird it's confusing in my head yeah it's confusing to me too like what is what is amber lynn's definition of vlog is it because she leaves her room like i don't all your vlogs consist of you sitting so i don't what do you what's the difference between that and a sit down video all your videos are you sitting down somewhere like i don't you don't go anywhere you don't do anything so like what who what's the fucking difference like who cares like why do you like just fucking do what you've been doing put out the shitty videos you're gonna put out like where you're gonna talk about a subject and ramble on about nothing for 10 minutes or whatever but like i, I love how she's like trying to like create this distinction between like sit down and vlog but it's like girl it's one and the same for you you don't go anywhere but for sure in vlogs i will continue doing them since you guys enjoy them more so like one subject sit down videos where it's all just like one shot and there's like no random clips within it i don't think i'll do them then because it just doesn't really i don't know I guess girl none of your content me. makes any sense anyway but, just fucking hi. put up your hosh posh bullshit who cares very requested that i do a highly requested weigh in and a highly requested way i mean i do people do want to know what she weighs and people do want to see what the scale says but I don't see the point. You guys have requested that I step on the scale fully clothed. You guys have requested that I have Becky film it. I, and I've said this before, I could not imagine living, like living my life so much, like 
that is dictated by strangers. Like, it would drive me fucking nuts. Like, uh, like even when people are like, oh, you need to do this. Like, and I know, like, a lot of people are, are nice about it. I'm sure people are a lot more rude to her about it. But um, I'm just like, dude, I'm going to do what I want when I want. Like, I, I live a life. Like, you're an adult. You're an autonomous human being. Like, you have the, dis you have the right to not do things and to withhold. Like, you can do all that. Like, no one is, like, I don't know why she, like she puts so much emphasis on like what everyone else wants for her because, and it's also interesting too, because like everyone wants her to lose weight, but she doesn't listen to that. <laughs> but like when it comes to like these torrid halls or these makeup halls or the, or a highly requested way in, like she's down for that. But, and we all know why, I mean, it's for views, but it's like, girl, like you can make decisions for yourself. Like you, you, your audience doesn't have to dictate everything about your life. So we are going to have that, but I do want to talk a little bit about, I guess, for new subscribers, my highest weight. I want to talk about kind of, of course what do. I'm doing now, if I'm on track or not. So first things first, hi. Um, I know a lot of you have been on my channel for a long time. My highest weight is 572.4. Mm -hmm. And the last, I want to say, over a year, I have gained about 100 pounds, 90 yeah. something. I remember last summer, I'm pretty sure, I'm really bad at timelines, I was about four, like in the 480s, and... Is that right? Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't really fucking care, I'm not gonna go back and like look up an old vlog from last summer, but it's like, you could easily find that out, like you could easily, also, don't you use the Weight Watchers app and like the My Fitness Pal app and stuff? Like, it couldn't you really just go into your app real quick and just look up like the last time you recorded your weigh-ins, like... I don't know. Wouldn't that make more sense? I mean, if, if you're doing, if the whole, em if the whole emphasis of this is to be held accountable and you say that doing all of this online is what's holding you accountable, then why not get all that information together before you sit down and do this video? So instead of guessing, like instead of guesstimating about what you are and how much weight you gain, like you could know for sure because you record everything in your fucking life. So my mental health has gone completely downhill in the last, you know, year and a half i mean has you have you i mean you've been complaining about your mental being bad for like four years now so i can't imagine it getting much worse than it has been i think i think what i think when she's talking about her mental health being bad i honestly think she's talking about the lack of her mobility and her lack of being able to go out and do the things that she enjoys i don't really think it's that much i don't know i don't know that's me guessing but that's how i see it that's my perspective it's just been really bad. It's been a struggle. And I finally am trying to really work on that. You know, I'm on a mood stabilizer and I'm seeing someone and it's actually helped my mood a lot. But for the past, I don't know, she's been on this mood stabilizer for what, two months now? And all she's talked about is how she can't even get up and leave the bed. And what do you mean it's gotten better? <laughs> like, no, you've gotten progressively worse, I think. Like, you haven't... It's been bad. It's always been bad. Like, I'm conf I don't know, dude. She thinks that this is better? I don't know. So, I know a lot of people say, like, food addiction and binging is very mental, and you to heal from that and to work on that, you really do need to work on your mental before you... Try to work I hate on the, the way she aspect. talks about mental health. So I am currently doing the mental part before taking a pill every day and hoping that you're better isn't that. Like pills, pharmaceuticals can only do so much. In order to really tackle issues like that, you have to be a proactive person in your treatment. And that requires seeing a therapist actually using the tools that the therapist is providing you with, actually trying to better your life. Just taking a pill every day isn't going to do it. It's not going to solve all your problems. I work on the food. I will say I try to eat less. I have days where... I just want to see how much she weighs. I feel like this is all a giant disclaimer. I, you know, we're going to get let down. I know we're gonna. she's going to weigh in and she's probably going to still be in the 560s or whatever. So there's going to be no progress that has been made. Um, this is all just one giant disclaimer because we're, she already knows what the, what the scale is going to say. I guarantee you she probably weighed herself before she did this video. Where I do eat more and it's a slip up. I overeat and I binge. And then I have days where I eat less. So 
I'll lose a couple pounds, I'll gain it back. I'll lose a couple pounds, I'll gain it back. And it honestly just depends on what I eat. So it's very much like back and forth. So before she was saying that like when her weight fluctuates, it's all water weight, it's all sw swollen, she's swollen. But now she's admitting that it's the diet, that it's some days she doesn't eat much and other days she eats a lot, which is what we've all been saying. <laughs> but like now the story has changed again. It's frustrating to me that I can't just keep losing, but that's not the scale's job. That's my job. And, and you also don't put any of the work forward to actually to lose weight. That. And I just feel I don't want to say I feel proud of myself because I hate saying that because I should only girl, be you hate saying you're proud of yourself girl like every single video you do the dumbest thing and you're proud of it like it, it you wrote down in your journal for a day you're proud of it you're doing this hundred day upload you're proud of it uh you didn't eat a Snickers bar you're proud like you're oh you're you over congratulate yourself which is why I think you're in the predicament you are in it's because you take the littlest little steps forward and you like turn them into like these giant leaps of like strength that you've uh, overcome in your life and it's like you haven't really done anything you haven't done any of the work proud of myself if i'm losing weight but i want to say that i am becoming proud of myself because i really am I, like i feel so different you know being on the mood stabilizer for however long it's been now it's been months and just really yeah. trying to be in tune with myself and I have girl you literally just made a video talking about how you like barely left your room for like three weeks or whatever recently like what are you talking about you haven't done any you haven't i can't been doing a lot more digging deep with my food addiction and i have learned so much about myself i have maybe i could open up about that more in a future no video. you I've haven't so much shut up dude you haven't done anything nothing you haven't you haven't hit any milestone in any part of your recovery, other than the fact that you take a little white pill every day. That's all you've done, dude. You've done the bare minimum, the bare minimum. More about myself. Yeah, I swear to God, I if she weighs herself and she's like 360 something, right, I'm gonna lose my why mind. People are addicted to or things. 360. It has uh, been 560. It has been hard because I have to reflect so much on my past, and for me, that's like probably the hardest part of it all. And to know that addiction is mental, it's not something you choose. Because for the longest time, like I blamed myself. I'm like, oh my God, why am I a food addict? Why am I addicted to food? But it's like not my fault. But the steps. Dude, you are an active participant in your food addiction. Like it's, she has this really uncanny way of disassociating herself from any of her behavior. And it's, until you start taking accountability for your, t your your part in your recovery you're never gonna get anywhere you're never gonna make any kind of breakthrough because to this day she's talking about her food addiction like it's something else like it's the binge monster it's you you're the person putting the food in your mouth you're the person who's not taking your mental health seriously writing in journals all day every day isn't doing it you've been doing that for five fucking years dude and it's not done a damn thing to heal from that and the steps to how stop being addicted. How? i mean obviously this is going to be something i deal with forever but the steps to overcome this that's up to me and that is something that i'm currently working on and it's very much in the background of things. I am trying the my background. hardest not to talk so much about these things and I'm trying my hardest not to talk so much about my weight now because I do want people to see that I- All you do is talk about it, dude. Uh, the past three, the past fucking four or five videos have you been talking about your food addiction and how eating on camera helps you and how you only eat a salad a day. It, like everything's been about your mental health and oh, I can't, dude. Did she not- I? Is she not aware of what she puts on the internet? Like, does she not watch it? D the past three videos, you've been talking about how bad your mental health is and how you, you, you if, if the vlogs aren't long, then you know why. It's because your mental health is bad and you can't get out of bed, like. I am what? more than that. I do have more to my life and to my YouTube channel than just that, but. What? What else other than being a victim do you offer to the YouTube community? There will still be videos like this, but I just want people to see that not everything 
needs to be up front because this is a very hard subject for me and since when i can grow by so much about myself fucking kick rocks addiction has been really rough i'm gonna be honest so i would love to come on yeah that's why you're like 600 pounds healthy, but it's not true like i said i'm very back and forth one day i'll do great next day i won't and that's why i'm gaining losing gaining losing so i'm gonna so it's not water weight is what you're saying in. The, right let, here. This is here it okay, is. Guys. Oh god, so, here we go. A weigh in has been requested where Becky films me stepping on the scale. So I just want to show Jesus for Christ, me to, don't like, fall. Hold on to something. I have There's a fucking chair behind her. Do you see that? Do you see the chair behind her? There's a chair behind her just in case she can't fucking stand anymore and she needs an emergency place to sit. In your own fucking house, dude. Emergency chair. Emergency collapsible chairs everywhere. That's fucking sad. To like reach over a lot like this. So I won't be like I know there's rumors of me holding on to things and whatever. Girl, you I, you probably move the scale. I mean, come on, dude. Like, do you really think your audience is that stupid? Yeah, you move the scale for this one video. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the scale. Just kind of. God, her like so. midsection is so. I'm gonna try not to show my feet because I don't like it. Pretty. I'm gonna step on. Oh God. Tugging at her dress. For... Five. Five hundred and sixty-five pounds. Five hundred and sixty-three. What the fuck is that? Are those her toe? Her toes. Oh, um, I have bad feet, and that's fucking heinous. Girl. I don't even care that she weighs 564 pounds. Those are your toes? No wonder she doesn't trim Twinkie's nails. She doesn't see... She doesn't trim her own fucking nails. That's bad, girl. Dude. My grandma has nicer feet, and she's like 83 years old. What the fuck? That's disgusting. <laughs> My God, that is so vile. I can't get over how bad that looks. It's like witch's feet or something. I can't. I'm gonna step off. And that was the way in that you guys have been wanting so bad. You're not upset about that. You're not, I don't, you're like, whatever. You're like, whatever, I weigh 564 pounds and I got nasty ass feet. Dude. So eating these family sized salads every day hasn't done anything. You're eight pounds less than your highest. And you've been at this for what? <laughs> like a month now? And you've lost no weight? Obviously what you're doing isn't working. You're not losing any weight. You're incredibly stagnant. Um, I told you I've been staying the same. That's better than gaining. At 564 pounds, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that staying in the 560s as a 5'2", 28-year-old woman is anything to be excited about, proud about, and even ambivalent about. Like, you should be really upset that, like, you're not doing anything at all. You're not making any progress. But I do know that I need to lose weight. I know. I get it. So as you guys you don't can see, seem to... I'm down about eight pounds for my highest, which is no victory to me at all in the slightest. You I just seem pretty excited about it. Trust my weigh-ins, which I don't understand. Because you lie all the time. <laughs> That's why people don't trust your ass. I can't rig the scale, and I showed you guys physically me stepping on it. Becky filmed it. Like, there was no... There was... See, this is what I mean when, like, she goes on and on about, like the audience or whatever not believing it's like why do you care like if you don't care then don't care just keep it pushing like if you know in that inside that like what you're saying is right then like keep it going like who cares there's no faking it i know a lot of people think that i'm over 600 pounds or that i used to be 600 pounds girl when you're five foot two you're like 600 pounds like it's you're five foot two 560 pounds you're 600 pounds like really you could go and like go into one of those calculations about like what that what that weight is on a body frame like that and i'm sure it'd be like the equivalent of like a five foot eight person being like 900 pounds like 900 pounds or something crazy like you're <sighs> no i'm literally only down a measly eight pounds if i was ever over 600 pounds i would love to sit here and be like oh my god i'm actually down like 
36 pounds, like whatever it would be. Like because you would, I don't know why you would gloat about that. I, dude, I, uh, she, do I think she's gonna lose weight? Absolutely fucking not. This is, if this is the attitude that we're getting right now, she does, she's not taking any kind of accountability. She's not making any kind of strides in any aspect of her life. She's totally fine with how she is. Like, I would love to come on here and say that because that would be amazing. Why would it be amazing to be 600 pounds and to get back down to 564 pounds? What, why, what would be amazing about that? Ex explain that to me. What would be amazing about getting up to 600 pounds and then losing back to what you are now? What would be amazing? I don't get that. Because we all know I am sucking at losing weight. I'm letting my addiction. That's the understatement of the year. Win. And it's just, it's not good. It's not cute. It's, it's nope. not good. Like I really am trying like with the mental and I feel like everything how? is kind of like levels. That's like how I explain it to Becky. Nothing to has like accomplished. Serious. Like everything is levels. My, my first level was seeing a psychiatrist. Then it was- Bitch, that was in January. We're in fucking September. We're almost in 2020, dog. And nothing has changed other than the fact that you take a pill every day. That's it. That's the only thing that's changed. You're not exercising. You're not eating better. You're not losing weight. You're not seeing a therapist about your past trauma. You've done nothing other than take a pill every day. That's it. It's like the bare minimum. That's the other, like, I can't with that house. Like, they do, like, the most bare minimum of things of, like, being an adult. And they want to be, like, congratulated to the fucking moon and back about, like, actually getting out there and, like, being a productive member of society. Like, no, that's just what you're expected to do. And I, I don't think that, like, we should be congratulating people for doing what the bare minimum of being a productive member of society. I just don't see it that way. Sorry. If that makes me an asshole, so be it. But, like, I can't. Like, I didn't have a team of like 20,000 people cheering me on because we went outside when, like, it's stupid, dude. Like, you, sh you also shouldn't expect that from people either. I don't know. Getting diagnosed, then it was trying different medicines, then it was working that medicine. How? How do you work them? How? I keep saying that, like, as if she's going to answer me, but how? How has taking that medicine at all benefited you? You've done nothing. You sit in your room all day still. There's no change happening. Then it was, you know, all these things, and then they keep, like, a pyramid, kind of, you know, as, as people say, it, what's that saying? It didn't build take a, a day ladder. to build Rome. What? Babe, what's that saying called? Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't built in a day. Rome wasn't God, built she's in a, a day. fucking yeah, idiot. Really just kind of how it is and i know a lot of i love how she wants to get on becky for the way that she pronounces shit but like you can't even you can't even barely you barely can remember like the most basic slogans and like you you don't know anything dog i can't we're gonna like disagree with that and be like but you're dying like i yeah. understand that completely but i've done everything i've you've done everything you've done everything this is everything this is doing all of it this is you have done it all and this is what it's gotten you literally okay tried doing a doctor's plan didn't work for a day and then you proceeded i can't dude this is why i say she's not gonna lose any weight she's not gonna lose weight she's not i'm i'll say it right here i don't give a fuck if she loses weight in three years and you can play this back and be like michael you're a fucking idiot you said she'd never lose weight look at her now blah 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 like cool she did it she saved her fucking life but right now in this very moment she's not gonna lose weight counting calories don't work weight watchers don't work i try to do a doesn't doesn't Craig work thing recently we don't even have to talk about that that don't work i've done vegan don't doesn't. work vegetarian being vegan and vegetarian isn't a guarantee to lose weight i don't know can we stop promoting that fucking bullshit that just because you're vegan doesn't mean you're healthy <laughs> i've tried low carb like none of it works it's because up here up here isn't working so and sitting in your bed all day isn't doing anything to fix that up here we're gonna fix this and I just need to do something different. People always tell me do something different, so now I am. So what I don't is really that? have anything else to say in this video. What's the difference? What's the new what's the new plan, dog? So I'm just gonna end it now. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Cool. So I was editing my video. What, and wait, I was what like, oh, in the holy wait hell was that? I forgot to do comment of the day. So I'm glad I remembered. God, she's really using them iMovie. She's really busting it out. Loading comments. We have almost twenty five hundred. All right. She's got significantly less views and stuff on her newest videos. 
Laura Williams. If I wasn't in the UK, <laughs> I'd quite happily date Becky. Are you serious, dude? Y'all are some fucking thirst buckets that, out here. Laura Williams, get someone really come out here and get Laura. Someone out here come and get your friend, more. dog. She's gaining confidence, and I'm so glad others see it. Fucking weirdos. I love that comment. Ew. Ugh. Never do that again. We don't need to see that jacked up teeth. Becky about all the super super sweet comments and she appreciates it you know what I I the thing about this whole first of all get better lighting in your room dog it's bad second of all I love how much she fucking gets off on like the compliments for Becky because in her mind it's about her and so she, she doesn't see it as like Becky getting compliments she sees it as herself getting compliments because she doesn't get any anymore because people are tired of her ass but Y'all thirst. Some of y'all are some fucking thirst buckets out here. I can't. So much, and I do too, because it's like, I feel like a lot of people are finally seeing the Becky that I've seen since day freaking one. Becky is a beautiful, wonderful, and in like incredible person, and I love her so much. And it made me really sad, like all the hate that I saw about her, and it hurt her too. And that's why she shied away from being. Can Becky say that? Like, if Becky wants to tell the world that, then let her tell it. Why do you have to, like, be a fucking conduit for everything that Becky wants to, like, portray to your fucking audience? Like, if Becky feels that way, then let her talk about it. But why are, it's not your job to go on here and explain Becky's feelings to the world. It's... <sighs> ...on YouTube, which I totally understand. There are random times she wants to be in videos and stuff, and that's usually when she is. But yeah, she's great, and I just want to say thank you for the compliment. And I How is it that everyone in that household can figure it out but you, Amberlynn? What is it? Why is it that everyone else there is figuring it the fuck out and getting their lives back on track, but you can't seem to figure it out? Love that you date her, but she's mine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this no video, one and I will dude. definitely see you in my no next one now. Really this is like a real ending. Them. They just want to make you upset. My God. So, she's still 564, so... We obviously, obvi I mean, I knew she wasn't just eating those salads. I mean, duh, right? But like, nothing's happening. Nothing's changing and nothing's going to change in that house because she thinks that she has the answers to it all. She is the know-it-all of Kentucky. She knows how to lose all the weight. She knows how to fix her mental health. Writing in journals all day is what's going to do it for her. And that's what she's going to do. And I don't know. I don't think, I don't see how that's, it's not worked for five fucking years now and it's not going to start magically working all of a sudden. And just because you take a pill every day that says mood stabilizer on it doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to fix everything in your life. You have to be proactive in your treatment. You have to be proactive in your recovery. You have to be proactive in your life. Otherwise, you just sit there and nothing happens. You can't, it's not going to happen to you. You have to want it. You have to want to do it yourself. Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I'm Michael B. Petty. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Michael B. Petty. Um, I'm going to live stream tonight on my Twitch channel. I'm going to stream some Borderlands 3 with my friend Jared. So come and watch me. I'm going to do that around 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Michael B. Petty. Until next time. Toodles.